Yo, yo, yo! Hello, guys, and welcome to the Atlanta Falcons Madden 21 Next Gen Franchise Mode here on the PS5. We're taking on the Carolina Panthers. We played them in week one. It is week three. Not too much time to, you know, learn from the last game. We'll see if Atlanta, you know, has figured anything out. Now, before we hop into the game, let's take a look at the, uh, the signings that were made. Um... Real quick as I go down, you guys can see who I edited. Just making sure that there was no, you know, things going. But look at look at the signings here. Look at the signings. Uh, big, some big news. Robbie Anderson there, four-year deal. Um, oh, here it is. Lamar Jackson has signed a seven-year deal for two hundred fifty-seven million. And I don't know why, but Lamar Jackson was not a superstar X factor. So, you know, I edited him and made him a Superstar X Factor. I don't know why he wasn't a Superstar X Factor. Uh, it was weird. But here's the standings here in the NFC. Um, the Panthers are 2-0, and they're looking to be 3-0. They think that they can beat Atlanta. They beat them in week one just two weeks ago. We'll see if Atlanta has any game-changing plans when they face off against the Carolina Panthers. Now, the rain is pouring, and damn, does it look good on the PS5. I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty damn good. Now, Teddy Bridgewater, he's having a, a hell of a start here this year. Looking to continue that as he has thrown four touchdown passes, one interception. Uh, he played great in week one against the Pan uh, Falcons defense. We'll see if they can continue that going forward. Now, Atlanta, right here is Christian McCaffrey breaks free on the right side, makes a man miss, and finally gets slung down out of bounds by Deion Jones, I do believe. The captain of this defense right there. Wow, that's not a good way to start it. Atlanta has never given up a open possession touchdown. We'll see if maybe that changes here. It's a big play right off the rip. Uh, incomplete pass or actually they call it a, a catch. They're second and 12. It goes backwards. Teddy Bridgewater now by himself in the backfield. Steps back, has time, dumps it down to DJ Moore who's got plenty of room and he will get dragged out, out of bounds by Deion Jones once again. So now across the 50, this is the best opening drive against the Atlanta's defense here so far. Uh, now Tate Bridgewater throws a wild pass down the middle. Sets up second and 10. See what happens here. Christian McCaffrey to his left goes out for a route. Tate Bridgewater steps back, dumps it down to his tight end. Oh my goodness, who has nothing but room? What happened there? That should have not been a big, enough, a big play like that. You got to try and make a tackle. That guy just didn't tackle for some reason. First and goal, Teddy Bridgewater steps back. Slant route, caught. Did he get in? No, short. Everett, Gerald Everett. You see what he did last week. He's looking to do it again. Sets up second and goal here. And, yeah, you know what they're going to do. Hand it off to Christian McCaffrey, who gets slung down inside the end zone by Ricardo Allen. And that, my friends, is a touchdown. The first ever Opening drive touchdown that Atlanta has given up, and this is not looking good. So it is now seven to zero here, and we'll see what Atlanta can do. Now Matt Ryan coming into this, we all know what happened in Week One and Week Two. It's pretty embarrassing. I mean, I get it. Uh, he's looking to make a better, a better statement this week in the rain. He, I would say he played, he definitely played well better. Well better? I don't, I, I don't know why I just said that, but he played better in week two. All right. He's still, you know, got to get this under under control, though. Second and 18 after that penalty. Really set back Atlanta here, and he's going to go deep down the field to Gage Jr., who does have a dev trait opportunity, so we'll see him getting targeted a little more here. Third and 18, Matt Ryan goes down to Gage Jr. once again. We're trying to get this guy to a star depth. He, he's young. He He's playing phenomenal. So we want to try and help him grow. First and 10 now. Pistol formation for Atlanta. They really like running this here. Uh, the pistol formation. This time not going to work. And another flag. And again, this young offensive line makes another penalty. Uh, this time it's coming from their veteran though. First and 20 now. Set up after the penalty. Matt Ryan trying to stay calm in the pocket. Dumps it down. Inaccurate right there. And we've seen that all year so far by Matt Ryan. Just he's got to get that under control. Second and 20. Matt Ryan steps back in the pocket. Throws it down to Calvin Ridley. 
And it would set up a third and nine. Matt Ryan, he's going to step back. What's he going to do here? Pressure coming. He dumps it down. Finds Ridley. Ridley being brought down right there by, I do believe, uh, Malcolm Butler, their veteran wide uh, cornerback. And first and ten. So now Atlanta's looking good. They've never scored on an opening drive either. We'll see if maybe they can do that as Steven Clemens gets loose. He's going to 20. Makes a move and brought down out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. That's the biggest run of that rookie running back's career. First and ten. Pistol formation. Atlanta loves the pistol here so far this year. And Cage now gets it, and he's going to get brought down short of the chains. Second and inches. Again, pistol formation. This time man in motion, and it's Smith, the fullback, gets it. But can't get in. And there's an injury on the play. Derek Brown, direct tackle for the Carolina Panthers. And we will take a break. So first and goal here at the one. Atlanta hands it off. Steven Clemens gets in. And there it is. His first ever running touchdown. The rookie. He is He's looking very good, man. He is looking like a very good running back. And, um... Two opening drive touchdowns. That's the first time we've seen that by Atlanta and by the Panthers. So we'll see. Seven to seven, second and eight. Later in the first. Tape. Oh, Teddy's going to keep it, but that's going to go down as a sack. Frankie Luvu. That's his sec uh, third one the season, I do believe. And it's a damn good one. Uh, had no chance there, Teddy Bridgewater. As soon as he went, you could tell it was a read option here. The wrong read is what it was, though. Teddy Bridgewater meets face-to-face. -face. Frankie right there gets brought down. So here we go. Third and 11. Teddy Bridgewater is going to step back. He has Christian McCaffrey picks up a block. Goes down deep. Right there. And there it is. Oh, wow. What a play. Thought he had it for a second. But ends up beautiful defense. Ooh. Hard collision right there. Good thing none of those guys got hurt out there. Uh, first and ten now. Matt Ryan stepping back. He's going to leave the pocket. He's got plenty of time. He gets hit as he throws it in. What the heck is... Tell me right now. Did you guys... I want to know. Did you guys spot what just happened? I'm going to break character really quick. I, I hate to do it. There's some issues, man. Let me know if you just seen what happened in the comments right here. I, I, I'm going to look right now. I just want... Here's the second look. Tell me, do you see anything that's, I don't know, stands out to you? Maybe just a tad bit, you know, just a, just a, just a little tad bit. I mean, again, this is going to go against Matt Ryan at the end of the day, at the end of the season. We're not going to remember this. We're going to remember Matt Ryan just threw an interception, AKA I threw an interception, but look, look, hear me out. Okay. What was Calvin Ridley doing right there? He ran away from the play. He could have, he was so close, he could have at least made it, try to make an attempt on that ball. Matt Ryan shouldn't have threw it out of the sack, and it's an interception. So, 7-7, seven to seven, hand it off to the Panthers. Now on third and two, we got to make a stop here, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Our defensive line, man, surprising a lot of people this year. I'm proud of those guys up front. Second and 13, Matt Ryan, he's going to stay in the pocket, dumps it down to Grant. Jakeem Grant, the free agent pickup, who's going to stay? He's got speed, stays in bounds. Jakeem Grant, the 5'8 wide receiver. Oh, man, but does he play like he's 6'2"? He does. Matt Ryan steps back, leaves the pocket, throws it. Ooh, dangerous pass. And Hurst bells Matt Ryan out right there. Just That's not a pass you want to take as a veteran. Now they're going to hand it off to Steven Clemens, who's going to break free. He's got room. He's got speed, and he's going to fight and gets pushed out of bounds. What a play, man. Steven Clemens. He's looking like the real deal out here. Matt Ryan changes some stuff at the line here. He likes what he sees. Quick pass out to Calvin Ridley. Who's going to put a move? Oh, my God. He puts a move on Jackson, and he's gone. The safety can't make up for it. And touchdown, Atlanta. Atlanta Falcons get loud in the comments. What a play by Calvin Ridley and Matt Ryan here. Calvin Ridley does all the work. But, wow. Jackson gets embarrassed. Matt Ryan liked what he's seen. He changed the play at the line. Calvin Ridley. Does this, and uh, yeah, he's going to be on ESPN highlights after that one. Beautiful play to take your team up by seven. So 14-7 to seven is the score here. With the Panthers around the 50-yard line, Teddy Bridgewater is going to step back. He's going to throw an interception. 
Deion Jones just cut off the tight end, Gerald Everett. Teddy Bridgewater's favorite target there. And wow. So, so far today, that's what Stephen Clemens has done. We'll see if the Falcons can take advantage of that turnover. Pressure comes, and Hurst is wide open. First down. He may be short. No, they give him the first down. And here we go later. It's going to be handoff Smith. What's he going to do? He's going to break a tackle and makes something out of nothing right there. And it is now second and seven. Pistol formation. Matt Ryan staying in the pocket. Dumps it down and Gage Jr. Can't get it. Matt Ryan overthrew him just a little bit there. Third and seven. Matt Ryan steps back. Dumps it down to Gage Jr. once again. I hope I'm saying that right. It's probably not Gage Jr. like I'm saying, but hey, either way, whatever. Second and three. It's gonna be it's gonna be Gage Jr. on this playthrough. That's that's what Matt Ryan leaves the pocket and he's going in. He gets brought down. Good way to hold on to it. As he uh, gets hit hard right there. First and goal now. Matt Ryan sets back, dumps it down to Calvin Ridley. And that's a beautiful touchdown by Atlanta. And yeah, this is the best offensive performance Atlanta has had all season going into halftime. 21-7. to um, We haven't really seen anything from Carolina since the opening drive. Now, going around the country here, let's see. Down in Tampa Bay, the Buccaneers could lose against Nick Foles and the 2-0 Chicago Bears. That would help us out. Well, hopefully, they can hold on to that lead. And Cincinnati... Well, they're out there, and they're still struggling 28-7 to now. They're just getting destroyed uh, this year, not looking good at all. Joe Burrow has thrown an interception there, not done much. And then out in Minnesota, it's a defensive game, 7-3, to with Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. So here we go, back to our game, first and 10. Matt Ryan, pistol formation, handoff Stephen Clemens up the middle. He's got all the room you could possibly ask for as a running back. That's a big run right there. It sets up. Second and ten later. Another handoff. Steven Clemens. Oh, this time doesn't like what he's seen there. Tried to get out of there, but... Yeah, Brian Burns isn't having it. So, that's going to set up a third and sixteen. But before we... Let's take another look at this play here. Uh, he tried to make him make him miss there or something. But, yeah, that's not going to happen. So later, third and 16, Matt Ryan leaving the pocket, throws as he gets hit. And Hurst was wide open the whole time, but Matt Ryan didn't see him until it was too late. And now the Panthers have the ball back. Third and three, need a stop. Yep, Christian McCaffrey's going to pick that up easy. And uh, it'll be first and 10 now. Teddy in the shotgun. Screenplay, handoff to Christian McCaffrey. He's going to make a man miss. No, he's going to get brought down after a big gain, though. Second and one, nine yards on that play. Teddy Bridgewater steps back, quick slant to, I believe, DJ Moore there. And sets up there across the 50 now. So they, they're trying to make something work here. Hand off Christian McCaffrey. He's going to go up, gets hit, takes a hard hit, and he's not getting up. And that's not good. So third and eight now. Panthers shotgun. Bridgewater steps back to pass, stays in the pocket, no time. Well, he had time, but no one getting open. That's a coverage sack, and that's Frankie Louvu, and that's actually his third on the year. Um, two in this game, and he had one prior to this. So three sacks total for Frankie now up to this point. It is now first and ten. Single back formation. Handoff, Stephen Clemens. Makes a man miss. Oh, my goodness. He cannot be taking hits like that. Second and eight. Matt Ryan steps back in the pocket. Throws it away, and he gets hit. There's a flag on the play, and it's called roughing the passer. Now, I've had an issue here on next gen with, with roughing the passer, so I, I don't want to cheat the system, so I declined this because I thought it wasn't roughing the passer. But I went back and looked at it after I declined it, and it actually turned out it was, it was roughing the passer. Um, but I'd rather not cheat the system and cheat the CPU, and you know what I mean? So I'll try and make a better call next time. If it is roughing the passer, I will call it. But every now and again, you'll get those, you know, it'll mess up, and it really wasn't roughing the passer. 
And so I just don't like che cheating the system. But later in the game, it's first and ten. Carolina gets handed off here and up the gut. James White doesn't get much. He gets about five, though. They'll take that. Slant pass off the mark, trying to get it to Anderson there. And that'll set up a third and five now. Carolina's not out of this game. They get a score touchdown here. They're back in this thing. Third and five. Teddy Bridgewater steps back. Has all the time in the world. This time he will hit the mark with Bobby Anderson. And that's first and ten. Here we go. Shotgun formation once again for Carolina. It's a handoff. Teddy Bridgewater. Oh, it's, it's read option. He's going to take it and he gets crushed from behind. Takes a hard hit from Jones and then hit from behind there. Four yard gain though. Second and six. This time it's a sweet play to DJ Moore who's going to make a man miss. Oh, I think it's brought down hard by the rookie Nate Murphy. First and goal though. It's exactly what Carolina needs. Rushing out of the play. Oh my goodness. Teddy Bridgewater takes a shot and fumbles it. And it's Alexander that picks it up and he's tripped up, brought down. That is clearly a fumble. We're going to take another look at this just to make sure. But look at this hit. Teddy Bridgewater just got crushed look at this i've never seen a hit like this man that was a good animation i like it watch this watch it. bam that throwing arm just hits the hits the ground hard that, that could actually break your collarbone right there oh what a hit so third and seven though later atlanta trying not to let this go to waste here matt ryan steps back pressure coming gets hit hearse catches it and hearse shows the muscle what a way to fight for the first down. He had to come back for it and still out muscles Jeremy Chin there. What a play. But later, it would be another third down. Third and six. Matt Ryan. Pistol formation handoff. Stephen Clemens. Oh, my goodness. He fights his way for a first down. 12 rushes for him. 65 yards on the day. And it's now second and eight. See what Matt Ryan does. Quick play against... Calvin Ridley makes another man miss, and it's on the opposite side of the field this time. And that'll pick up a first down. And Atlanta, I mean, at this point, Carolina's got to get a stop here. Uh, th but if you, you compare this game to, to week one, this is a totally different game. Fullback gets it. He makes a man miss. Oh, he's breaking. He's got the speed. The big boy going out there across the 20, making it the 19. Fullback. Wow, the fullback getting it. Now it's Steven Clemens up the middle. It's very rare you get to see a fullback run like that. So now it's going to be Ito Smith who makes a man miss. And he, wow, he just glides his way in. And I think that's his second on the year. And this game is over. 28-7. <laughs> <laughs> and Atlanta will take a knee later to end it. Uh, way different outcome than week number one. Atlanta... They studied the tape, and they just dominated. And it, let's compare Matt Ryan's game this week to week number one against the Panthers. And it was completely different. I think that's what really sparked us. Obviously, Stephen Clemens had a phenomenal day. But not only that, but our defense stepped up with two turnovers. Uh, we just played phenomenal football on both sides of the ball. And uh, this team is, I think, surprising a lot of people, without a doubt. Uh, Frankie Louvu with two sacks. We got three sacks total in one game. We'll take that all day, every day. Uh, around the league, though, taking a look around the league. Obviously, this was our game. We just watched, but we seen it was like just a dominating game. But around the league, uh, Tampa Bay did lose against the Bears. Detroit ended up winning, so they're 3-0, and by the way. And Bengals struggle still. Miami finally gets their first win on the year. Um... Eagles win a close one. Saints win again, so they're 3-0. That's not good for us. But, yeah, these are the scores and the outcomes. So here's the standings. We'll take a look at the standings so you can see around the league. I want to get you guys involved in the league as well, not just for Atlanta, but in the league. I want, you know. So you guys, if there's any other stats you would like to see after a game, let me know, and I'll, without a doubt, I'll show them to you. Um... But yeah, here's here's our team stats on the year so far. I think Matt Ryan, obviously, he's a wild card right now the way he's playing. But Stephen Clemens is showing to be consistent. He's playing good. Um, maybe get him a little more involved is the is the strategy we go going forward. Calvin Ridley's doing exactly what we need him to do. Step up, but Russell Gage Jr. I think he's surprised us a lot with how he's playing. 
And uh, Hurst has actually surprised me as well. As far as defense, Deion Jones playing great like he should. Nate Murphy has really surprised me. Uh, I expected a lot out of him, but he's, he's, he's doing exactly that and a little bit more. So this whole team honestly is... We're doing better than I, I, I anticipated. Week one, I was nervous. Now we're two and one. We got the Jets, which should be a win for us. We're hoping. But I'm going to leave it with the top players of the week here, the weekly awards. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.